What's up, everybody? Gerard here from the 3T crew on a rainy Tuesday in New York City with our G1 Climax Block B Night 6 review. If you want to check out the 3T podcast, check us out on Spotify, TuneIn, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, and now on iHeartRadio. If you want to buy a t-shirt to support the 3T crew, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. We got two shirts there if you, and more heat coming on the way. If you want to check us out on social media, Follow us at iStrongStyle and Through the Table on Instagram, at 3TPod on Twitter, and lastly on iStrongStyle on TikTok. Now let's jump into the G1 Climax Block B Night 6 review. It started off with our path to dominance of the Young Lions, Yuha Uehara versus Gabriel Kidd. Great Young Lion action as always. They're really bringing the fire out here, literally. Um, they have a lot to prove, and they're trying to earn a big spot. So Yuha finally gets on the board, and now he's at one and two. Gabriel Kidd now falls to two and two. So far in um, the path of dominance, check this one out if you want to see the the future of New Japan in action. Now we're jumping into our block stage, which we're really gonna be focusing a lot more on. It opened up with Yoshihashi, you know, the rejuvenated, the reinvigorated Yoshihashi versus the Cold Skull Sonata. Who I, by the way. Pick to win up with Block B. Um, I'm not pushing the panic button yet, but we're getting there. He's at 0-3 in the block. Yoshihashi picks up the dub. And, and it's it's one of those things. It's a little... We're getting a little hairy now, Sonata. You, 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 get, you, gotta, you gotta help me out here, Sonata. You're sitting at Donut still. Match was pretty good on him. Yoshihashi looks really good. He's having probably the G1 of his career. And it's funny, he's having the G1 of his career, and I'm pretty sure he's only won one match so far on the block. But he looks a lot better. This is a uh, one match to look out for in the future with Yoshiashi in this tournament is with Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is where their whole path to reinvigoration of Yoshiashi began with Tanahashi calling him out, I think, at last year's G1 Climax. Now we're getting into our second match of the night, which I thought was match of the night for me. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Kenta. Heel versus Heel. Suzuki Goon versus Bullet Club. Very technically sound. Um, Kenta beat the tar out of Zack Sabre Jr. throughout. As expected, Kenta's one of the best strikers in the industry. One of the best strikers of this generation. I think he's kind of underrated given the whole... His former alias, Hideo Tommy. That run kind of soured people on him. But he's making people remember who the real Kenta really is. Check this one out. I really enjoyed this match. It was pretty good. Now they did the whole thing where they clean up the thing and they clean up the ring. They sanitize it due to COVID regulations and all that, which we all love. You know, wear your mask. Stay safe, guys. Then they jump into the rest of the block, the three main events. We kicked off here with Juice Robinson versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Babyface versus Babyface. They're both part of New Japan's main unit, so to speak, which is the conglomerate of Babyfaces who are not affiliated with the main factions in New Japan. Hiroshi Tanahashi, we've talked about his story at length on this YouTube channel and on the podcast, um, that he's on his way back, or is he? That's the whole storyline. Is he the ace still, or is he the falling star, so to speak? Um, Juice Robinson is having another great run, as always. Um, Tanahashi looked okay. I don't, you know, he's not 100% healthy, as we all know. His knees are shot, literally. You know, you could tell. And the way they're building, they're, he's like the most compelling character in New Japan currently, I believe. The whole let's build around his injuries and his, his faults as part of his character is genius. You know, it's not like an Undertaker situation or where you know he's limited in the ring, but they're still trying to portray him as what he was before. Tanahashi is the opposite. He is not the ace, and that's why his character is so compelling now. He even beat Juice Robinson, a guy years... You go to the last couple years, he's beating him clean. High five flow, boom, boom, boom. No, he beat him with a veteran tactics. He swept the leg, rolled him up, one, two, three. Pretty interesting way for them to go about having Tanahashi get his first block win. Juice Robinson, I think, is at two wins right now and a loss or two. He's on his way, you know. I, I don't think he. I don't think either guy's gonna win. Tanahashi has a better shot. He's the dark horse right now on this stage. If he's able to get on a roll, he's gonna win the tournament. And a lot of people wouldn't be surprised at that. Now, since we've already had two big upsets so far, you know, you had Yoshihashi get that one. You had Yuha and the Young Lion pass the dominance get a win. We're on our third upset win, I believe. 
with Torriano meaning evil, yeah. Torriano Y T R has now beaten two IWGP heavyweight champions in this G1. He's sitting at three and zero. Oh, Evil's at one and two. Pretty fun match. Um, if you don't like Toriano, you take life way too serious. This is there. He's the equivalent of what R Truth is in WWE. A very capable wrestler, but comedy is his strong suit, and he's killing it right now. Um, the whole low blow spots was funny. You know, Dip Togo backfiring multiple times. It's you're not going to out-dirty Toroyano, man. You're not going to do it. That's not how you're going to beat him. So, Tanahashi tried to out-dirty him. Evil tried it also. Sonata tried it also, and they all failed so far. Now, is this someone going to... He has a few... He has about what, six block matches left. Is someone going to realize that going forward? Who knows? Or does Toroyano pull off the miracle of the century? Does the king of pro wrestling win the G1? Never know. You, you, you never know, right? And now the main event was Hiroki Goto versus Tetsuya Naito. Chaos versus Los Igonables de Japón. This is another pretty good match. This was main event Goto who showed up for once, you know? I thought, I really enjoyed the Kenta match earlier a little bit more than this. Still, this is another one you want to check out. Block V is not really shaping up to be the, the best matches block, like A block is, but this was a pretty good match. Main event Goto. If you're a big fan of Goto, you're going to love this match. If you're someone who's not really into his stuff, you should still check this one out. I think it was a really good match. Goto delivered a banger with Naito. Naito's having a great run so far. There's still a lot of interesting block matches left with him, including a Yano matchup and including an Evil and Sonata matchup going forward. It's about to pick up big time with, that, with Naito. Does Naito win the G1? Does the champion win the G1 and pick his opponent? If so, let me know in the comments below. If Naito does win, who would you want to see him pick? Would you pick a faction member? Would you pick a rival faction member? Would you pick Evil? Would you? Who knows? Who would you pick? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for um, Block Block B Night Six. One interesting caveat here: Bushi came out, and it felt like Naito is um, sort of telling him like, "Do you want a shot at these belts?" And Bushi just stared at the belts and didn't say anything. Something to look forward to. I don't, I don't know if they're going to go Bushi versus Naito at some point. There's little things like that you pick up on. And it's something that was very interesting. There's a little bit of tension between the two, which is rare due to, you know, they're, they're, he's, Bushi's one of those guys. He's always been loyal to Naito. But right now, Tetsuya Naito and Toriyano are tied for the block lead with three wins apiece. Is that, one, is that where we're getting from? Is that the block finals? Do one of those guys win? Does someone else come back? and win the tournament. That's Sonata from, please Sonata, get together. But until next time, this is Gerard from the 3T Crew signing off.